This is the Future of Automotive with Steve Greenfield. Welcome back to the latest episode of the Future of Automotive on CBT News, where we put recent automotive and mobility news into the context of the broader themes impacting the industry. I'm Steve Greenfield from Auto Adventures, and I'm really glad that you could join us this week. If I had to wager a bet, you're about to start hearing a lot more about a new category of electric vehicle, the Extended Range Electric Vehicle, or EREV. Once shunned by EV makers, extended range technology is booming as consumers look to overcome range anxiety. An extended range electric vehicle is a type of electric vehicle that primarily runs on electric power, but includes an additional internal combustion engine that runs on a generator to recharge the battery. The ICE engine does not drive the wheels directly, but it is solely there to charge the battery to increase range and thus reduce range anxiety. These cars can typically travel as far as 900 miles on a single charge and are about 10% cheaper to produce than pure electric alternatives. They also can be charged up using a DC fast charger like any EV battery. The main disadvantage of EREVs are the added complexity of having both a battery and an ICE engine aboard and the extra weight, although EREVs weigh less than if this were a standard plug-in hybrid since EREVs don't require multi-speed transmissions or big motors that can directly drive the wheels. The latest automaker to announce it's releasing an EREV is the Volkswagen spin-off brand Scout Motors. The Scout Extender will increase the vehicle's ranges from around 350 miles per charge to more than 500 miles, which is enough for Scout owners to haul that boat to the lake without worrying about another charge. Scout's EREV seems to be stoking a lot of interest. Apparently 25% of their pre-orders are with the EREV configuration. And other automakers are getting into EREVs as well. Stellantis's 2025 Ram 1500 Ram Charger electric truck has a not so great 141 mile charge, but it's supplemented by a V6 engine that can power the battery to 690 miles of range. Mazda already sells the MX-30R EV in Europe, and Hyundai says it will start selling a model into the North American and Chinese markets in 2027 that has a top range of 560 miles. With sales of pure battery EVs dramatically slowing down, the hybrid has emerged as a middle ground with consumers not as concerned about charging availability and range anxiety. I would expect to hear a lot more about extended range EVs as yet another viable bridge technology offered to consumers who otherwise aren't ready to jump into full battery electric vehicle ownership. So with that, let's transition to our companies to watch. Every week we highlight interesting companies in the automotive technology space to keep an eye on. If you read my weekly Intel report, we showcase a company to watch and then take the opportunity here on this segment each week to share that company with you. Today, our new company to watch is called Sandra AI. The age of AI is upon us, and we're seeing more and more AI-powered applications for car dealerships. Sandra AI is in this fall's Y Combinator cohort, so you're about to start hearing a lot more from the early stage company that comes out of France. With Sandra AI, you'll never miss a call in your dealerships again. Sandra AI acts as the intelligent voice agent for your dealership. Sandra answers the phone 24 seven, ensuring your dealerships never miss a call again, so you can say goodbye to dissatisfied customers and lost opportunities. Specifically designed for car dealerships, Sandra has extensive industry knowledge. Your customers will feel like they are talking to a real automotive expert. Sandra integrates seamlessly with all of your dealership software, which ensures a quick and smooth implementation of the product. If you'd like to learn more about Sandra AI, you can check them out at www.sandra-ai.com. So that's it for this week's Future of Automotive segment. If you're an auto tech entrepreneur working on a solution that helps car dealerships, we wanna hear from you. We are actively investing out of our dealer fund. Don't forget to check out my book, The Future of Automotive Retail, which is available on amazon.com and keep an eye out for my new book called The Future of Mobility, which has been sent to the publisher and will be out soon. Thanks as always for your ongoing support and for tuning in to CBT News for this week's Future of Automotive segment, and we'll see you next week.
Thanks for watching The Future of Automotive with Steve Greenfield.